When people hear the name Christine Keeler, they will probably think of the face that stares back at us from all of those old black and white photos from the 60s. But of course, she's much more than that. And this is what fascinates me about Christine Keeler. What happened to her during the Perfumo affair, the notorious political scandal of the 60s? And how did this affect the rest of her life? Uh, Christine Keeler was a young 19-year-old beautiful girl who became involved with the Profumo affair and in a sense was a scapegoat in that demise of the Tory party at that time. I can't remember a time when I, I didn't know Christine Keeler. She's, uh, she's almost like a, like a mythical character like folklore. Um, I'm a painter and I was invited by Fionn Wilson, the artist and curator, to make a piece of work uh, celebrating and uh, responding to Christine Keeler. Uh, when I first started thinking about it, I knew that I wanted to make something that was very emotional. So my work is, is very much um, an emotional response and um, I'm hoping that it crystallises my, uh, my thoughts and feelings about the person behind the facade, or specifically the woman behind the public face. Looking closely at Christine Keeler's life story, it becomes clear that there are themes there which are still relevant today, including how the media depict women as sexual beings, the power dynamics of sex, attitudes to ageing, poverty and class. I find the whole idea of Christine Keeler interesting because it is about a young girl of 19 who was really a child in many ways, I would think. Sophisticated, beautiful, etc. But I'm interested in it from the point of a feminist point of view because it shows how often a beautiful girl can be a victim of rather lecherous old men in politics. And in the time of the year, well, the, the year after celebrating posh women having the vote, I think it's a time to revisit these situations where young girls were, are treated, exploit, uh, exploited, I would say. My painting looks at the way um, Christine Keeler was, was presented by and hounded by the press, particularly as she got older. Um, so I used some images um, that had been published in a newspaper that were um, covert, they were unauthorised, and they, um, they showed her as she was shopping, pulling a, a trolley through a car park, and obviously they were designed to humiliate her in a way, and um, uh, invited, you know, criticism of the way that she'd changed as she got older, uh, based on how she now looked. Um, but I think as well as, as being um, about Christine Keeler and, and um, about the way that the press looked at her, I think that, um, like the rest of my work, um, this painting is very much about, it's a kind of analogy about the status and expectations um, of women. It highlights the way uh, that women are publicly judged and uh, on the expectations of them in terms of the way that they behave, um, if they happen to be sexually autonomous in any way, and about um, the way that they can be, um, have the finger pointed at them uh, in terms of uh, their appearance, if they are not conventionally pretty, or if they're considered too thin, or if they've gained weight. What I find interesting about it, because of all the work I've done about women and turn of the century, obsessive interiors, etc., um, I find it interesting that you're dealing with a contemporary, sem you know, seemingly contemporary young girl who was exploited for her youth and her beauty and then discarded. 
So as much as being a celebration of Christine Keeler and an attempt to give her a little bit of dignity, which she was denied in the photographs that we used of her, um, I also think that these are attitudes which affect all women. Christine Keeler is a significant figure in British cultural history, yet there's very little recent artistic reference to her. Dear Christine is an attempt to add to this within a contemporary context via painting, music, poetry, sculpture and ceramics. Thank you.